Well, everywhere they go, the Moon Dogs leave a trail of destruction. But after Kennett, Missouri, can you imagine them going against this team, Jerry Lawler and Jeff Jarrett? Here they are. Well, here they are right now. They don't look too happy because they got one of the young men who was beat up by the Moon Dogs. They've got uh, Ricky Hutching with them. And boy, they they dropped that big bell on him and a little bit of everything out here. Ricky, I know you're not feeling well. I just want you to see if you can zoom right in on here. Now, Moon Dogs, take a look at your little handiwork there, boys. That makes you real tough, doesn't it? How that makes you real tough to beat up a young guy like this who's just trying to get started, probably hadn't had more than eight or ten matches, and you guys come out here and want to do something like that to him? Well, let me tell you something, boys. Thank you, Ricky. I appreciate it, pal. But I promise you this. I promise you this, Moon Dogs. You know, you have had a lot of matches since you came into USWA. And you've been pretty tough. I just was telling Jeff back there as we watched that monitor. I said, those moon dogs look like the Terminators. No matter what you hit them with, they just keep coming at you. They just keep walking. They just keep standing somehow. Well, let me tell you something. Up until now, that has been the case. You have been able to walk away from each and every one of your matches. But this week, it's going to be different. Because you're against Jeff Jarrett, and you're against the King now, boys. And you're not going to walk away from this one. I promise you that. You look all down through the history books. You look up the pictures there in the history books, and all down through time, the kings have ruled the countries, and the dogs have laid at their feet. Well, this week, the king rules, baby, and you're going to be laid at my feet, and that is a promise. Is that right? That's Take a look exactly at the stitches and the cuts on his face. That's baseball. exactly right. Moon dog, I look just a little bit like Ricky, and I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah, I knew when I got into wrestling, it wasn't going to be a cakewalk. I was going to have some stitches and some bumps and bruises, and that's all right. Well, boys, we ain't got to worry about Richard Lee because Robert Fuller's going to beat him like the thinking no good, nothing happening guy I've ever seen. Now, Moondog, you think Kenny Missouri was something? Well, you wait till match time because you ain't seen nothing yet. And like Jerry said, you ain't walking away from this one. I want to just say one thing in closing. Last night, Kenny, Missouri, the match was Jeff Jarrett and Robert Fuller against the Moon Dogs. But Richard Lee, you were the first one to stick your nose in where it didn't belong. So don't come around claiming it was a king. Yeah, I stuck my nose in, but it belonged, and it's going to be there for a long time. And I promise you, I promise you this. Like Jeff said, last night in Kenny, Missouri, Last night all over that building, last night everything that was bouncing and busted off your stinking head was just the beginning. It's going to all come to a head this Monday night in the Mid-South Coliseum, brother, because then and only then are you going to know what it's like when you face Jeff Jarrett and the King from the opening bell. And I promise you this, as I said, you ain't going to walk away from this one, boys. Get ready. It's coming up this week. Back in a moment.